Good morning. I'm Christy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Baker Hughes reporting its second quarter earnings results before the opening bell Tuesday morning. The company posted an EPS of 41 cents, missing the street estimate of 43 cents. Revenues in the quarter rose by 44.4 percent to $3.37 billion, short of the estimate of $3.48 billion. Chad Deaton, who's Baker Hughes chairman and chief executive officer, said, quote, in response to the Gulf of Mexico drilling moratorium, we have deployed people and equipment to U.S. land operations and to international offshore markets where deep water drilling continues. The drilling moratorium negatively impacted our business on the shelf and in deep water by three cents per share during the quarter and has a potential negative impact per share of eight cents to 11 cents per quarter in the second half of the year. Deaton went on to say, quote, looking forward, we expect our North America land business to remain strong compared to last year as unconventional gas and oil directed drilling in the U.S. continues to grow. And as the Canada market, where we are sig a significant participant, rebounds seasonally, we believe international markets will continue to improve and expect our emphasis on operational efficiency to help us improve our international margins significantly by year end. I'm Chrissy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more news, earnings, and market analysis, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's Trade the Trend. Also visit our website, tradethetrend.com, for more headlines.